Hello everyone, this is Pamela from Design Wishes by Pamela, here to share with you my latest project. It's a mini album, and for the uh, inspiration, I use the 49 and Market Captured Adventures. Um, it comes with laser cut-aparts, there's some other type of cut-aparts, these are really fun. Uh, I almost used everything in this paper collection, I think I have one full sheet, but I use practically everything in the collection. So I really, really love the way this uh, comes out, this came out. I don't typically uh, use do 12 by 12 albums anymore, and I think part of that is because I never have enough photos um, to go in a 12 by 12 album, but this smaller format really works, and this is approximately eight and a half um, inches square. And one of the unique things about this album that I came up with is if you look at the spine, and I hope you can see that. Let me turn up the light a little bit. If you see here, I didn't use a traditional um, additional setup for the spine. I took and mounted the spine wings on the inside of the album so that the um, you see that little indention hopefully that you can see there. I really like the profile and how that looks. Maybe you could see it a little better there. On the spine of the album I did a window sheet with some acetate and you'll see that throughout this album. I've done it a lot. Part of it is because the paper collection from 49 and Market lent itself to it and then this slips out to be like the title of um, of the album or it could be a photo or it could be journaling card. On the back I kept it pretty simple. I love the theme in this paper so adventure to boldly go. I really like that. On the front of the album again I just used some of the beautiful papers. Rome. I love that. This is one of the cut aparts here and these little elements here are part of the cut aparts including this one right here. The only difference is I took the little arrows out and then I just backed it with some green cardstock because I wanted a little thicker element. And hopefully you can see, let me see if I can bring my light a little bit closer. Um, you can see that element on the spine of the album. So. One of the cool things about this album design is when you open it up, you see it gives you this little, you know, diamond pocket detail. Here you can see that right here. And I matted all of the sides. So those are little tuck spots too. Here. I made a little tuck spot with the bicycle element here, so a little journaling card, a little photo. Actually, you know, little photos can go in each of those sections. And then here as well, I popped up one of the cut aparts here. On the inside cover, there is a pocket for a mat that goes right in here. And then I did a tuck spot and a photo mat. And what I did is took the paper and then I cut around this little ticker, ticket part of the paper so that becomes a tuck spot for the photo. I did my traditional punch pocket, popped up one of the elements and made a journaling tag and that just slides all the way down there just like that. Here I used one of the cut aparts too. On the flap here I kept the top edges of this strip and this strip open so that I can slide a photo mat here. So you can put journaling here and then you can slide and you put journaling here and then you can put your photo in the middle. So then that closes down and then you have this page right here. So again I used acetate this is a cut apart and I made a little tag or it could be a photo mat, popped up an element down here 
and then added the decorative papers. Added a string closure here from Melissa Francis, and then it opens up like this. So for this side, what I did was I created a pocket, and then I made a little booklet, and this is a belly band, and this is one of the cut aparts. And then in the booklet, I just put paper in there. You can put photos, you can do journaling, but I thought it was a cute little simple way to add more to the journaling or more to um, your photos, and that, that just slides right in there like this. Just like that. I used my Stampin' Up! Punch, this one right here, to make all of the tab elements. There's a pocket, a little photo mat that goes right here. And again, this is that acetate um, window. And this is one of the cut aparts. And again, I just made a um, element here. Let me get my arm out the way. And then this one though, I backed it with some black. So I just did the same thing in black and backed it with the black. I thought that made a really cool element. And that sits in there like that. On the pocket part, again, I kept this part open. This is open. And then I made a little tag with one of the cut aparts. And then here are two of the cut apart elements. The paper is actually really nice and thick, and these two fit in here. For this side of the album page, I pop a little joy, um, enjoy up on a foam square. This is a frame and I used some of the acetate there onto that and then I made these two tags that just simply slip right in there. Each of the inside pockets has a very large tag. This is a very generous tag and it slides right into the pocket just like that. When you turn that pocket over, you see this element right here. I did a four by six inch frame here on one of the cut aparts. I did a belly band across, and here I just did a little acetate element on one of the cut aparts there. And that slips right in there, and you can add more photos. And then for the three hearts down here, I took and popped those up with foam squares to give it a little bit more dimension. On this side of the album, I took and used one of the cut aparts and I, I double matted it here. I made an ankle pocket and then I did a pocket insert by punching out little banners with my um, Stampin' Up! punch and then I made the little string with the chalk pen. And this is a pocket. So this this is a pocket. Something can slip right in there. And then this side, this is a belly band. So it's a very useful insert. And then you have all of this that you can add photos to. Once again, this too has a very large tag. Oops, let me go this way. This too has a very large tag. And then you flip that over and then I used one of the cut aparts here to make this element. Again, I took my, my Zacto knife and cut that out so that this little insert can fit right, right in here into this tuck spot. And then I made this a pocket where you can add more photos. And then that slides in there just like that. And then for the third inside page, I took some of the po um, elements and I popped them up on foam squares, made a belly band, cut a partial slit in the belly band there so that a tag or a photo um, uh, mat can go in there. And this is a generous five by seven um, photo mat actually. It's a little bit larger so that you can put a five by seven photo in there. And then here is another one of the large very large, um, and then again, let me show you this way, photo mats that go in there. And then this comes over like this, and then you see I have a pocket 
here with two tags that go in here. There is a magnet here, so you can definitely hold something in there because of the magnet. And then here, again, just like the front, is that string closure here. And then it opens up like this. So let's just, let me talk about this one. So there's a pocket right here, right in here. And then there's a pocket here. So this will hold a five by seven photo easily. That fits in here. This will hold a three and a half, a three by five photo. It goes in there just like that. On this side, again, there's a pocket to the cut aparts. And then on this side, I did a tuck spot here. So you can definitely add more photos to that. Here, this little element right here, the word here, it's so delicate. It's like, how was I going to actually glue it without getting mess all over my album? I use this right here. I found it um, on the internet through, uh, I think it was Simon Says Stamp or scrapbook.com. And the, there's glue on that, and it's really tacky. And all you do is kind of like tap your fine little die cut in there, and it puts some glue. I don't know if you can see that, but it puts glue on it. So I really, really um, love this. I know there's some people out there doing DIY and doing it on their own, but um, really cool stuff. Okay, and so then this flips like this and again another window with acetate on it some elements here this slips out here and then it just slips right in here like that and then this flips again I just truly really love the way that turned out these become pockets and again, like I did on the front, this is a little slide pocket right here. This slides. And then there's um, little tuck spots here. You can put small photos in these little angle, these little triangles here. And then again, I have a four by six photo can go in there in that tuck spot. I trimmed out this area from the paper for another tag element. I did the punch here pocket and then this little journaling card fits in here and, and then I popped up this element with the foam square. I really really love the way this album turned out. I hope you like it too. It was really really fun. If you did if you did like this video please give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching.